What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Art of Shooting Day. Shooting cinematic videos without breaking a bag is made possible by the Yolanzi Anamorphic Lens G1. With its premium looking design with the capability to attach an ND filter. It is almost perfect, but then this happens. Well, don't worry guys, because I got a simple hack for you to avoid this thing. Roll intro. If you are kind of interested in those kind of contents, please consider subscribing. And to my current subscribers, thank you very much for your support. Thank you, thank you very much for watching this. Now, this video is going to be quick, so let's get on with it. I got the Ulanzi Anamorphic Lens about a month after it's released. So it's been on my arsenal for a while now and I've been using it for quite some time. And I did learn a lot from it and then this happens a lot too. And it's so frustrating because it ruins the perfect moments that you're trying to capture. Especially when an ND filter needs to be adjusted. As you adjust and rotate the ND filter, the Anamorphic Lens moves with it. Because it's too loose, it's like there is no friction at all. So I tried to find a solution to this and I figured that I just need something to tighten the rotation. And I did try out a lot of things and I think I found a temporary solution. Or maybe forever solution. All you need is a black sewing thread with 6 inches long. Then just do it like this until you're satisfied on how tight it is. This will add up friction and acts like a break, so say goodbye to unwanted misalignment of the lens neither bumps or ND filter adjustment will be a problem anymore. I know it's kind of a bit a cheap solution or it's actually funny, but it really works and gets the job done. So I think this problem is solved. I know some might say, why not upgrade to the generation two? Honestly, I was tempted to ditch my generation one and just go buy the generation two, but I really believe that the generation one isn't really that bad despite of its imperfections and that is why I'm so eager to find a way on how to solve this problem and I believe that those who own the generation one like me will benefit to this video so go check him out and do this on your own Yulanzi anamorphic lenses and comment in the section down below what do you think about this solution if it works or not Give it a thumbs up and go share this video to your friends who own the Anamorphic Lens Generation 1 by Ulanzi. Alright, just like what I've said earlier, this video is a quick one. I hope this video helped you. And if you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing and tap that bell there so you can get notified whenever I posted a new video. Also, if you guys are interested in checking out my artworks, here are my Instagram account and my Facebook page. Feel free to check them out in the description below. Again, this is the Art of Sir Eden Tech version. Together, let's explore, learn, create, and share. See you on my next video, guys. Peace out.